Hi guys, welcome back to the Wolf Among Us episode 2 playthrough. I know it's been a while, sorry about that, I've been busy doing other things. Uh, but I'm back now and let's get this done. See what's happening with Big Boo Wolf. Smile, you never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. You want them to feel happy. You want... Oh, it's you. We're closed. I don't care. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Huh. <laughs> no. Tell you what, come back after midnight maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? Fuck you! I can arrange whatever you like for the right price. Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. <laughs> It's the big bad wolf. Huh. This guy's Jesus, quite funny. You're so corny. I love it though. No. Seriously, I love it. Okay, alright, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? <coughs> Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No, <laughs> I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching their own business you know it's illegal to impersonate another fable it's frowned on. it's illegal as long as I don't like it now she told floor would never provide a glamour like that it's strictly black market stuff Ooh, black market is it how exciting this is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you storm in throw around a bunch of accusations try to scare people but you've got fuck all to back it up <laughs> and we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? That's what you like. Fuck it. Oh no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! <laughs> Bloody bastard fucking shit! <coughs> you proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Who's this cunt? Fuck off, Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? 
the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in a it? a fucking moron! Show me. There <laughs> is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. <laughs> Your face hey, is now. next. Fuck it. Let's wreck his joint. Huh. You shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Tell me what I want to know. Jesus fuck. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. And there you go. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Fuck it. I'm gonna do this cut in. Oh, was it good for you, <coughs> Sheriff? Next time I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. <laughs> There's plenty of stuff I can wreck. <laughs> a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Hi, original. Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. <laughs> this is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call <coughs> the police to make a complaint. <laughs> Can I hit him again? Because he's, he, he's a nightmare. Business office. I better take the cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Georgie. I don't think it's too happy with us, big boy. What else is in here? Can we take all his money? I want to talk to the deputy mayor. 
Yeah. 58. Hmm. That's the money we gave to Faith in episode 1. Just take our money back. Fuck it. Let's, let's take it all. We'll just rob them. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, alright? Cheers, Georgie. Pleasure doing business with you. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Why are you still carrying your money, Big B? <laughs> no one's gonna steal it for you. <laughs> Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. and faiths. Lock's been busted open. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Hmm. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Kind of glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Her lips are going to be sealed. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. Is that a spell? In those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Ah, I like your style. Hush, hush. Keep it on the down low. Okay. What would I need to do? <coughs> I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. That's fine. We 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 just took uh oh George's money, so that was worth it. <laughs> Why is that note still in your hand? <laughs> no. 
not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. A lot of man made was a great help. Huh. Police officers and everything. Going to the phone, sort of machine, final. Keep your pants on, buddy. You have to check in first if you want a room. So come on, mosey on back, and we'll get you set up. Why can't I go upstairs? What's going on up there? Oh, oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So. Now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. I won't say anything. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off attack <coughs> and everything. Did you know a Faith? A girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Oh, redneck names. <sighs> Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. I'll deal with them, Bia. I got a loan from those two. It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. <coughs> Five minutes, please. We'll see. <coughs> Beauty. Just yeah. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. 
Hmm. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Someone's enjoying themselves in one of the rooms. Well, here we are. Which one was it? No, that's that's just CD. Let's go straight for room two or seven. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. <sighs> Fine. I've covered for you. Now help me out. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? Oh, no. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care oh, of you. I it's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? Oh. No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is, Beast. Stop this. Right now. This isn't the way to handle things. What do you know? You don't have anybody! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, oh. listen to me! There's East something Thailand. going on! I'm mad! Uh, hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time. This is going to get hairy. Eh? Hurt you, so just calm down and Beast. Oh shit. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. She's my wife, Big Beast. I told you. <clears throat> I'm going to put you through the door to 207. Break your fucking no, jaw. Don't hurt him. For fuck's sake, I should have just hit him. You ruined everything. She's my fucking wife. Like this whenever Stand you back. You you don't want to see this. Fucking hell. Shit. What is it? Oh, oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this is this Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. 
Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Was anyone acting suspicious? <clears throat> Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage or... Uh... Got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the shoes up, Astro. People out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Hmm. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. We shouldn't even be in here. Do apple? you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. <laughs> <clears throat> What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Hmm. What is it? I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. Would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course, that makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. You know, she almost died when. Uh. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean, just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. Hmm. This is just bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like, pathological. I'm getting that feeling, yes. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She, she must have been so scared. <clears throat> it's a huff and puff. I thought <laughs> you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Maybe she didn't see it coming. For my arrival. Just put in a cassette player and we'll find it. Damn it. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. Oh, what? Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh, no. She must have been wearing it. 
He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. <laughs> oh no, there's more? What? What now? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. <laughs> Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. We're almost done, Pierre. Don't worry. stalking it doesn't just stop by itself trust me I know about this firsthand he'll keep trying to get closer and closer his stand-in for snow is gone now so the next step closer what is it it's <gasps> crane oh wow Did not see that coming. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Nice. <clears throat> All that next time on the Wolf Among Us. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.